recognized as if in morning business to offer tribute. Without objection. Mr. President, I'd like to take a moment to uh, honor a member of my staff who's not retiring, but through his ailment <clears throat> can no longer come and work on the Hill. Uh, this gentleman's name is Michael Schwartz. He's been my chief of staff for almost 15 years while I was in the House and here as well. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people on the Hill know Michael. And what they know is, is he's one of the kindest, gentlest people that anyone has ever met. He's been a light on how you do things to honor other people. Mike has always <clears throat> has been the kind of person that has always focused on others, especially those in need. He's the kind of person that doesn't pass up the homeless that we all see around the Capitol, but stops and tries to supply their need, uh, offers them money and food, but he also offers them friendship and his time. He offers them the love and dignity <clears throat> that comes from being reminded that we're all children of the Creator. Mike has also been an unapologetic defender of the family and for those who cannot defend themselves, <clears throat> whether that be the disability community, the unborn, the infirm, or the elderly. He has reminded me and my staff and us that a society is truly measured in how it treats and cares for those less fortunate. Mike's also a voracious reader and gifted leader. In a city where people stop learning when they gain power, Mike has shown that the closer you get to power, the more you need to humble yourself and learn new things. He's been mentoring staff and others for years on the Hill in both reading groups and Bible studies and where he has shared his wisdom, his faith, and his heart. As many in the Senate know, Mike has ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. <clears throat> For weeks he's been battling, actually months, he's been battling to continue to fulfill his responsibilities here when most of us would have said, it's too difficult, I can't do it. He's overcome ch challenges that most of us can scarcely imagine. <clears throat> He's done so with grace, <clears throat> humility, and an unbelievable level of courage. And through we, this, we have seen that he has inspired everybody on my team with both his spirit and his tenacity. And in these difficult circumstances, Mike has been an extraordinary servant and faithful leader. He's still the guy that cares more about other people than himself. The kindness he has shown to everyone he's encountered whether to a homeless person on the street or a leading senator in the halls. He has reminded our team and me that we are all equal, regardless of position, in the eyes of God. Let me close with a passage from 2 Corinthians that reminds me so very much of Mike. It is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself. All this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people, grace, that wonderful word grace, too often shortage in Washington that Mike so well displays, 
may cause people thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, do not lose heart. Mike, don't lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on the seen, but on the what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary and what is unseen is eternal. In a place preoccupied by titles and position and power, Mike has shown everyone by his life and his deeds and his words that things that are unseen are the things that matter. He has shown us what it means to run the race and finish it strong. Well done, good and faithful servant. My hope is that God will bless Mike and Roseanne, their children and grandchildren, as he closes his chapter of life on the hill. He will still be doing projects for us because of his intellect, his insight, and his knowledge is something we can bear to not, cannot bear to do without. So it has been my privilege over the last 15 years to be modeled and mentored by my chief of staff. Mike, we love you. God bless you. I yield the floor. And note the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll.